everybody, Laura the Librarian here. It's New Book Tuesday! Here are some of the many books that came out in the first week of February. I think there's something for everybody in this pile, even if we don't look at it all. I'm going to start with some of the big releases that people have been waiting for and excited for. First up, we have 400 Souls, a community history of African America, 1619 to 2019. Um, edited by Ibram Kendi and Keisha Blaine, and here we have, not, I think it's 90 different authors covering different segments of this time period in different ways, essay, uh, history, creative writing, kind of a collective history of uh, the experience of Black people in America. In fiction, I think the biggest release this week is The Four Winds, which is the new novel from Kristen Hanna. I expect this to be just as popular as The Nightingale, which was a huge hit when it came out a few years ago. Texas, from a time of hope to a time of uncertainty, one family's experience during the Great Depression. Two big new books for thriller readers this week. We have the new Alex Delaware book by Jonathan Kellerman, Serpentine. Iris and Roy Johansson, continuing the Kendra Michaels series. This is Blink of an Eye. Always a favorite is food writer Mark Bittman. He is back with Animal Vegetable Junk. Yeah, I'll look at the food system in our country and how, how it works and how it might be changed and how we've become so dependent upon some junk foods and it should be a great read. We have True Crime from journalist turned private investigator Ellen McGarrahan as she investigates a case that she thought was pretty cut and dry earlier in her career and digs up some new facts. A History of Urban Life, Life in Cities um, from science fiction writer Annalie Newitz is a nonfiction book called Four Lost Cities, A Secret History of the Urban Age. Medical doctor and researcher Robert Lefkowitz, winner of the Nobel Prize in Chemistry, it calls himself an accidental scientist and always looks at things super optimistically, and he has detailed his his life and work in this memoir, A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to Stockholm. Something new from Chang Rei Li, who I think is just one of the greatest fiction writers writing currently. Um, this is My Year Abroad, um, supposed to be kind of a topsy-turvy trip that an American student goes on with an eccentric older guide. A novel that takes some inspiration from current events, or the current events of 2017. A young woman uh, learns that her boyfriend is a conspiracy nut, and um, this is the story of what unfolds after that. Something new from favorite um, inspirational historical fiction writer Sarah Sundin. This is When Twilight Breaks, set in 1938 Munich. If you liked The Slap, or if you like Leon Moriarty, um, I think Good Neighbors would be one for you, a Sarah Langan, except it's all about the, uh, the dark edge of American suburbia. And Australian author Jane Harper, who really made a splash a few years ago with her book The Dry, is back with something new called The Survivors. And for fans of Nicole dennis Ben, we have How the One-Armed Sister Sweeps Her House, by Sherry Jones, a look at um, the interlocking life stories of a handful of people in a Barbados resort town. Plus, there's more, you guys. We're here at the new shelf, and we're going to take a look at some recent acquisitions that I don't think have ever been checked out. Let's see what's here. Two local books. This is Make Way for Liberty, Wisconsin African Americans in the Civil War by Jeff Cannell. That's from the Wisconsin Historical Society Press. And then we have Wisconsin Sentencing in the Tough on Crime Era by Michael O'Hare. And that is from, yep, the University of Wisconsin Press. Better Boys, Better Men by Andrew Reiner, about engaging with the topic of masculinity and how we raise boys. Plus, Rude, Stop Being Nice and Start Being Bold by Rebecca Reed for women who wish to harness their confidence. The Unusual Suspect by Ben McCall is about a modern-day Robin Hood during the uh, 2008 financial crisis and a wolf at the schoolhouse door all about public education by jack schneider and jennifer berkshire a new one in the get what's yours series get, get what's yours for Healthcare by philip muller and we've got coming back all about coming back to the job market after losing a job 
by Fawn Germer and Project 333 by Courtney Carver on how to streamline your closet. Here we have two mysteries, Scott on the Rocks by Katrina McPherson from her Last Ditch series. Very funny. If you like Western mysteries, we've got Laying Bones by Revis Z. Wortham. And then finally, a lovely tale about a young woman who's caught between her family and her first love. Saving Her Shadow by Letitia Lovely. If you're interested in something new, please give us a call. We can give you some suggestions. We can pull some books off the shelf for you and you can come pick them up during curbside pickup. We are always excited to talk about books on the phone with you. So give us a call. Um, I hope you got some inspiration from this video and hopefully we will see you soon. Bye.